Hey there, this is Akshat Madan and welcome to a new video. So in this video, we are going to continue with our Seaborn playlist and in this video, we are going to see the scatter plot. So without wasting more time, let's go to my coding screen. So for this uh, video, I am going to use the Titanic data set. For my earlier parts, I was using this HR data that was for an employee. But uh, for this data, I am going to use this Titanic data set. So in this you can see that first of all I am loading this uh, data set using load data set function and I am going to display the head part of this data set and so this is the data I think you are much familiar with this data set because this data set is used a lot of times everywhere and then I am using the scatter plot function sns uh, that is my cbond.scatterplot and for this also you need to give three uh, compulsory parameters that is your age pair and your data so the uh, x y and your data so for x it i'm giving the age of the um, the passengers the for y i'm giving the fare they have they would have paid for the trip and the data is a titanic data frame that i have created a frame of my data now for i'm plotting this uh, normal scatter plot so as you can see uh, you may uh, you may be getting the idea from this uh, scatter plot that this is your age and this is your fare so as you can see the people who have paid a uh, less amount um, like this uh, so as you can see right so most of the people have paid uh, from 100 0 to 100 but there are very few people like only two who have paid such a huge amount so they may be from the first class and most of the people have paid from this range 0 to 100 okay so yeah so this was the general idea we are getting from this plot now for improving our data analysis we are uh, defining another parameter that is hue and we are applying uh, the hue on alive that means uh, we also want to different we want to differentiate our uh, points from uh, with the help of alive uh, column that means i want to see differentially that uh, how many customers are uh, have would have survived the um, uh, that uh, titanic uh, uh, issue and uh, how many would have not how many died so in this scatter plot i can see that uh, um, most of the people that means all the uh, the blue data points shows that the uh, people have these many people have died and the yes uh, that means the orange data point shows that uh, these customer these passengers survived uh, the titanic uh, drowning so uh, in this uh, i can getting i am getting a very good idea that most of the people who uh, are from uh, the third class that means 0 to 100 that means the uh, from 0 to 100 most of the points are blue that means uh, the these many passengers uh, did not survive the titanic drowning but the people who are rich that means the people who have uh, paid from 0 to 500 and more the, in this range the orange data points are more that means the rich people have survived more now uh, more imp uh, now let's improve uh, our data analysis and define some other parameters that is your style in style you get more data uh, featuring more uh, differentiating in your data and i'm defining this on my class that means class is a uh, another column in my data set and which defines the class of the passenger that is first second or third class so uh, you may be thinking that yes uh, you are thinking right that the people who are from the first class would have survived more and the people uh, who will be from third class would have died right so in this data set let's try it out and let's see whether we are thinking uh, correct or not so as you can see these are my legend and blue points are the people who have not uh, survived uh, but the people uh, the data points which are shown by orange color have survived it and the circles are the people who are from first class cross from the second class and squares are from the third class uh, so let's zoom it and see more clearly so as i can see the uh, dots that means circles are from the first class so these two uh, people were from uh, first class so and they have survived because it is orange and circle so they have survived and they are from the first class so it was obvious so the people uh, from the first class have survived um, and so as many circles you are seeing these are the people from the first class and the all the circles that means from 100 or not only from 100 but from around 80 to uh, 500 all these points are circles that means they are from the first class that's only that's why only they have paid such a huge amount for the trip but the people from 0 to 100 uh, they are mostly circle not circles they are uh, squares and 
uh, cross that means they are from the second class or the third class and the blue density is also much in the lower regions that means blue the people who have not survived they are from the blue category and they are more in the down part because the poor people have uh, not survived more so this was general idea of style now let's uh, go to another parameter that is my palette so you already know that palette is used when you need to change the color of your uh, color theme of your uh, chart so i'm giving it inferno there are many types of palette just write anything over here and run it and you will get an error and all the possible uh, uh, colors you can give it will show you so you can choose anyone and just write it so i'm using inferno and i'm getting this kind of color theme okay now let's uh, move to the next part that is your alpha so alpha you already know that when you need to change the more modify the uh, transparency of your chart then you define alpha so for here i am using just rainbow palette and i am using alpha to be 0.5 that means only 50 percent opaque so as you can see the um, points are not that much opaque and they are light so this was done by alpha now uh, let's uh, define now I, here i have also defined the title and figure size because here also i have defined the figure size that because it was getting so small it was showing a small chart but i wanted to see a bigger chart that's why i used figure size and i've also given a beautiful title that is titanic data analysis to it so this was done by matplotlib because i'm using plt okay now i am uh, defining this uh, cell and i'm uh, uh, creating a scatter plot with my line plot okay so you may be using multiple uh, charts on that same graph uh, that's why i am showing you this example in which i have drawn scatter plot and line plot on the same graph so this scatter plot is for age versus fair and this line plot is for age versus fair that is same uh, same data but uh, this is a line plot so as you can see the green line is my line plot and the rest of the part is my scatter plot so this was how you can combine two types of charts in that same graph Okay. so this was uh, i think this is enough for the scatter plots and for uh, i'm going to show you the uh, bar charts in my next video till then keep coding keep innovating and thank you